Did you ever felt that buzz in your pocket and instantly reach your phone? That's the power of SMS. But what if I told you that that same buzz could be the sound of your brand making bank? My name is Emil Dingemans and I'm the owner of Magicianly. And in today's video, I'm going to tell you everything that you need to know about SMS marketing for e-commerce brands using Klaviyo. So first of all, the importance of SMS marketing. So let's lay down some facts. So 85% of Americans have smartphones. And within minutes of waking up, 71% are checking their messages. SMS is becoming a primary channel to connect with your customers. But how do we harness its full potential? Let's explore. So is SMS marketing right for your business? Here's something to ponder. 73% of consumers have made a purchase decision influenced by a text. Many top e-commerce brands are already leveraging SMS. So if you're not, it's time to ask yourself, why am I missing out on this? So what makes SMS so special? It's quick, direct, and personal. It's like having a one-on-one -on -one chat with your customer, building a relationship that's genuine and immediate. Now, every powerful tool comes with its guidelines. So the same goes with SMS. There are specific rules that you need to follow. But with the right approach and with respect for your customer, it can be a game changer for your brand. So a question that I often get from e-commerce brands is, hey, if I'm using SMS marketing, should I still be using email marketing as well? And the thing that I always say is, hey, think of SMS and email as two sides of the same coin. So while SMS offers immediacy, email provides depth. So together, they're a powerful combo for your marketing strategy. So you should always use both and not just a single one. So I now want to walk you through how you can set up SMS marketing within Klaviyo and walk you through all the steps that you need to know so you can set up SMS marketing for your e-commerce brand in a simple and effective way. So let's dive into my computer. Real quick, so if you're an e-commerce brand owner and you're doing at least 25K a month of revenue, and you want to take your email and SMS marketing to the next level, click on the link underneath this video and book in a call with me to see if it's the right fit for each other to help you scale your email and SMS marketing efforts to the next level. We'll do a free Klaviyo deep dive with our 150 point checklist, see if it's the right fit and if we can help you scale your business further. So again, click on the link underneath this video and book in a call now. So we're in one of our demo accounts within Klaviyo so we can show you how to set up SMS marketing for your brand as well. So what you want to do is go to your settings and click on the SMS tab in here. What you'll see is enable personalized SMS to maximize revenue and you can click on set up SMS for free. So first of all, it will ask you for which countries you want to set up SMS. So for this example, let's just select the United States and click on next on the top right corner. And here you have to fill in some company information. And after you filled it in, you'll click on next and you'll see this screen where it will say, great, now let's confirm your sending information. So you'll get a toll free number and you can show them the company name that you want to show and you click on next. You can now decide if you want to send a preview of how the sending info will be shown on people's devices. Click on next. And now great to start sending, let's add subscribers to your list. Let's skip it for now and click on done. Now you'll see the sending information in here with the toll free numbers for the United States and Canada. And as I mentioned, you can also set us up for the UK, Australia and New Zealand. So from the screen, you can click in here on different kind of settings that you want to, uh, want to change. So for example, your sending preferences. First of all, you have the smart period sending. So um, you can decide if you want to skip the recipients that have received a message in the last, for example, 24 hours. Then you have your SMS quiet hours, so uh, you can avoid sending SMS flow messages between a certain time frame in the recipient's local time zone. Uh, this is a really a good one to use because you don't want to spam people uh, late in the evening or at night or something like that. So that's why you have these SMS quiet hours. Standard is a setup between 8 p.m. and 11 a.m. Uh, I would personally would like to keep it like this so people only receive a text message from you uh, in like the normal times. So if you've done that, you can click on update SMS sending uh, settings, and then you can click on attribution in here. And here you can see the amount of hours to attribute conversions to the most recently clicked SMS sent. 
So standard, this is on 24 hours. And again, I like to keep it like that. And the last one is automation. So if you click on that one, uh, you can see some keyword management. So there are some compliance keywords that you can use. So for example, if people are texting you stop or something like that, then they're automatically unsubscribed. So uh, you can use different kinds of keywords for different kinds of settings. Also to opt in, for example. So if you're using a double opt in and people have to SMS you join, then uh, the source is updated to join. So that's basically the double opt in that you can use with text messages. And so you can set up multiple subscribe words for this by using this button in here. And as well, if you scroll down, you can use some quick responses for like the two way uh, communication that you can use within Clavio. So if you go to the left, you can see conversations in here. So if people are texting you, you can see it right here in the conversations tab. So next up, you want to make a list or where people can be subscribed on for the SMS subscribers. I like to make a separate list for this. So I'm going to show you that now. So if we go to list and segments in the top left menu, so you can see that there automatically already has been made an SMS subscribers list. You can decide if you want to create a new list by clicking on the create list slash segment button in the top right corner. Uh, but you can also just use this SMS subscribers list. So what I like to do is click on this and go to settings. And if we click in here on consent, so you can now change is the opt-in process. So standard double opt-in has been selected. So that means that uh, if people have filled in a sign-up form and they filled in the phone number, they still have to confirm their, their subscription via SMS. They have to send you a text message and then they're really subscribed to your SMS list. I'm not a big fan of that. I rather like to use single opt-in where people don't have to confirm the subscription because in my opinion and my experience, uh, a lot of uh, people are not texting you because they're in uh, because they think they've already subscribed to you. So they forget to send a text message and then you're basically losing out on a lot of uh, a lot of uh, subscribers for your, for your brand. So that's why I like to use single opt-in. And of course, make sure to only text people um, yeah, who are really engaged with your brand. So if they haven't opened your, your text messages or they haven't engaged with your brand in general, ask you make sure to, to suppress them and to get rid of them off your list. And I think that's a way better approach than using a double opt-in because this will earn you a lot more revenue and you're still only texting the people uh, who are really engaged with your brand. So I like to use single opt-in. Don't forget to hit that save button in here. So next up, what I also like to do is make a segment of your SMS subscribers because it could be that you have multiple lists with multiple people who are also um, subscribed on your text message list. So I like to use one segment with all the people who are committed to SMS marketing and um, use one segment, which makes it easier to send out text messages by using that segment only. So again, we go to lists and segments and we click on create list slash segment. We click segment, and the name of it will be SMS subs segments. Definition, what you can select if someone is or is not consent to receive SMS and the person is consented to receive SMS. So you can now click on the create segment button and you'll now have a full segment of only the people who are consented to receive the SMS and uh, so you don't have to use lists all the time. I like to have a separate list for this as well. But again, having a separate segment makes it just easier along the way to send out text messages to only the people who are consent to receive the SMS. Next up is your signup form. So uh, I can imagine that in the past you've only used email marketing and you now want to use SMS marketing. But now we actually need to get the phone numbers of the people uh, for uh, yeah, so you can send them SMS. So what you're going to do is make a multi-step form. So if we click on sign up forms in the left menu, you can browse through the templates that they have and they have some really good ones. So for example, this first one is a good multi-step email and SMS form that you can use. If we select this one, you now have to select an email subscriber list. So let's get newsletter and for the SMS list, we select the list that we've just created or it was automatically there, the SMS subscribers list, create form. So I can just show you this form because I think this already is a good one. So the first step is the email opt-in. Um, I like to use email opt-in as the first step and then the SMS opt-in as the second one uh, because more people are likely to opt-in for email than they are for SMS. So you first want to make sure you have an email address and then the second step you can ask for the phone number. So the first step email opt-in, second step SMS opt-in, which looks like this. 
I think this is already a good template that you can use as you can update the copy a bit. So uh, the angle that a standard use is uh, after people have filled in their email uh, where you give them a 10% off, then they say, hey, do you want SMS only deals? Enter your number to get SMS only deals. People can fill in the phone number and click on send and you can use a micro copy with no, I don't want uh, text, uh, which is fine as well. Of course, if you just want to have email uh, and marketing, that's all, all fine as well. Uh, but this is a really good form that you can use, but obviously there are a lot more that you can use. So if you go back to the library and click on collect phone numbers, you can see some other examples in here. So, um, so you can see some tap to text SMS discounts, for example, where people have to tap on it and they can be subscribed. And it's already a really good one. So uh, what I like to do is make a multi-step form for new people. So new website traffic on your store and also make a separate sign up form for people who are already subscribed to your email list but you now want to have them on your on your SMS list as well. So to, to these people, you can make a separate sign up form with, hey, do you want to join our VIP club or something like that and get them on your SMS list as well. And for getting this done, you can use something like a form that you see in here where, where you just collect their phone number and make sure to adjust the copy, of course, because they're already on your email list. So you can use the SMS list as a form of a VIP club or like a special club with exclusive offers, for example. So by now we have set up all the settings for the SMS marketing. We've made the list, we've made the segment, we've made the silent forms. So now we obviously want to send them text messages. So the first way you can do that is with your flows. So you can make separate uh, SMS flows. So if you click on flows in the left menu and you click on create flow and here we can select SMS. You can see that Clovia already has some pre-made flows that you can use with SMS only. So prevent lost sales with an abandoned card reminder, SMS only, or with the browse embedment. So these are flows that you likely have with your email marketing as well. And can you, do, you can do this for SMS only as well. You can also decide to nurture, nurture your subscribers. So with like a welcome series for people who've just joined your SMS list, you want to send them a unique offer, of course, based on what you've promised them in the sign up form. So you can set up a welcome series for that. Uh, let's just show you an abandoned card reminder with this. So this is a pre-made flow. The first thing that you notice is that they call this abandoned card reminder, but the trigger is checkout started. So as I've explained a lot uh, in my other videos, uh, abandoned card and abandoned checkout is something different. These are two different things, two different triggers. You should have them both for both email and both SMS marketing. Uh, Trigger checkout started means that someone has started the checkout. So this isn't an abandoned card reminder. This is actually an abandoned checkout reminder. Abandoned card reminder uses a trigger called added to cart. With that being said, this is a abandoned checkout reminder. So for the convenience, I will change that in here. Let's create a flow. So what you'll see with the standard flow that it will wait four hours and then it will send out this SMS. So what it's saying is, um, Love it, need it, gotta have it. Your card is waiting. Click to check out now with a button that links directly to the checkout page. So this is already a good SMS, a good SMS that you can use. Also, you can change up the copy. Um, the thing that we like to do is make it really short and snappy and to the point. You don't want to use long text messages because yeah, uh, people don't like to use that. You can use some emojis. However, if you implement emojis, it will cost you a lot more to send out the SMS because uh, it will uh, basically means that you use more characters and the more characters you use, then it will send out as two text messages, for example, instead of one text message. And um, yeah, then it will just cost you a lot more. So split test for your brand, what uh, the benefit is of using things like emojis, uh, using things like extra spaces and stuff like that. Um, if it massively improves your conversion rate, also you can use that. Uh, but we have seen for most e-commerce brands, it doesn't make a whole lot of difference. So then we just like to use just text only uh, text messages. So uh, keep it in mind once you start A-B testing your, your, your text messages. So you can change up the copy. And um, yeah, this is just an example of an abandoned checkout reminder. And uh, so there are a lot of possibilities on flows that you can use with SMS, basically the same options that you have with email marketing as well. Um, in this example, what I've just showed you, I just made an SMS only flow. But of course, what you can also do is just go to your abandoned checkout email flow and incorporate SMS text messages into that flow as well. Um, we like to separate this because we can easily see 
uh, was the attribution of SMS and email in terms of, in this case, the abandoned checkout reminder. It also makes it easier because you, you have to use less splits in your regular email flow. Uh, but some people like to incorporate it into one flow. Uh, it's basically what you like the most. I like to separate it, um, but make sure to use like the, the same timeframes and stuff like that. So uh, for example, if um, with your email flow, you're giving away an incentive straight away or after one day, then obviously with your SMS, you have to do it as well, because otherwise it doesn't make sense for the reader if they're subscribed to both SMS and both email or you have to set it up in such a way that if people are subscribed to text messages, they're not receiving the abandoned checkout reminder via email. That's also an option that you can that you can choose for. But in a nutshell, this is basically how to set up SMS marketing uh, with Klaviyo uh, for your e-commerce brand. So uh, what we've shown you is how to set up SMS marketing in general. We've shown you how to set up a list, a segment, uh, the sign-up form, how to use that in multiple use cases. And we've shown you how to set up SMS flows as well. Of course, you can also set up text messages campaigns, but it is basically in the same way as an SMS flow. So that's not a really special thing to show you. But um, yeah, this is basically the beginner's guide of SMS marketing for e-commerce brands using Klaviyo. And that brings us up to the end of this SMS marketing debug. If you found this video useful, don't forget to hit that like button underneath this video and subscribe to the channel for more information, tips and tricks on email marketing, SMS marketing and e-commerce in general. Hope to speak to you soon in the next video.